Chris, and this is my 110 Grasshopper body paint and assembly video. I apologize, we are not going to be painting the little guy. So I'm going to go set this outside to dry, and we'll be ready to paint. So priming is up to you, body work is up to you. You see I just washed it, we're going straight to painting it. So this was my first hard plastic Tamiya paint job. And the lesson in this video is do not use Rust-Oleum paints like that. And this stuff works on different plastics, not on this. So that body sat for two weeks and I thought it was fully cured. And when I went to recoat it, look, it's doing that little curdling right there. I'm just gonna leave it because it's white and you really don't see it. Since we have to paint the wheels, they're gonna be part of the body video. Let's figure out what is making this so difficult. People were talking about these three-piece wheels are hard to get together. How in the world is a little kid supposed to do this? And I have really good hand strength and I'm having a difficult time with this. Good God. Okay, all right. <sighs> okay, that's gotta be, a, oh. Okay, so you just gotta get it on the inside. So it took me just a little over a minute to get it in there and all I did was just read the instructions. I mean, you, this one stretches a little easy, but it's still hard to do. Okay, the paint job did not come out bad at all. We just should have used the little lacquer spray cans. They're only $5 and they sell them at Walmart. So now we have the issue of painting the semi-gloss black on this car. And is it a better idea to mask it off or try to paint it with a brush? Uh, I got an idea. I'm gonna do it with a paint pen. All right, kind of get the idea of how I'm doing the black. Hopefully it turns out okay. So I got some of the stickers on there. This will be the harder side because of that piece. So I scooted that sticker back to cover up the screw hole right there because I completely screwed that little guy up. I feel so bad for him. All right, this one. So the grasshopper's feet are level, his butt sticks up a little bit. Unfortunately, Frank Evans got destroyed in a paint job. It is officially done and it came out way better than I ever imagined. And to paint the little spotlights, they actually fit on there without any modification drilling. They just kind of stick on there. And these are the color the body is molded in. You see the difference in painting it white. Same thing with the wheels. The hubs are actually unpainted. And you see what a difference it really does make. So yes, paint your car if you can. Use the lacquer paint. You can get them in testers if you can't find Tamiya. So use a semi-gloss or a flat right there. That's the only thing I really screwed up. The stickers right here are gonna be a pain, especially right there. And just take your time on the silver accents on both sides. Put your sticker over the screw hole if you're not gonna run the character. Just wanna give you an idea on what to expect when you're doing your grasshopper body. Nothing too difficult, just remember to paint it and don't use Rust-Oleum like I did. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.